ليكن يومك للشعب ودادا ليكن حبك للأرض مدا للأرض مدا If actually we expect Allah to be lenient with us then we also should be from the people that are lenient and considerate in our interactions with other creatures of Allah. Have you been kind to anyone today? Have you taken advantage of the month of Ramadan to be kind and spread kindness to people? Visiting the Sikh has been a right a Muslim holds another Muslim. Whenever you hear about your Muslim brother that is Sikh, then you have an obligation to visit him. That is his right upon you. He's rich, he's well to do, he has his house, he has a fleet of cars, he has beautiful children, he has a wonderful growing family, he has a business that is transcending all others. He would, either out of pride or out of arrogance, say that, oh, God is with us. God is blessing us. We are the people that God is blessing at the moment. And then, in the same way, Allah says again, When we test him again, in the first thing I said, when we test him, and we honor him, and we grant him blessings, he said when we test him, letting us know that the honor that we enjoy is a test. Speaking good words and refraining from speaking bad words to people. It is from the triggers of the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and an injunction by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you see somebody who is not receptive to anything good, then you know there is a problem. No matter how good the idea is, you will still not look at it. We don't care about our neighbors. And that is the reason why there is less love, less compassion in the society. Every time, whatever it is you're doing, whether it is call, a statement you're altering, or an action you're doing, anything, or a place you're going to, you must ask yourself the question, is this going to be pleasing to Allah? Or is this going to be offending to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Every time you do that, you are doing what? Zikr. If all of us can take care of ourselves and those who depend on us, our parents, our family members, our friends who are very close to us, then there will be less people to be catered for uh, in the larger world. When Allah comes to jihad, Allah is calling to effort to do good. When Allah comes to jihad, Allah is calling to justice. When Allah comes to jihad, Allah is calling to peace. Anger, annoyance is common to men, even as to all animals. Is a trait that we share with the animals because it's a mechanism that we can use to defend ourselves. We must not buy to anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We must never refer to anyone as God or Lord or seek help from them or seek protection from them or seek wealth from them. We can only do all of this with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the first and the most sacred commandment. We have so many graduates outside there who are not even employable. Not because they don't have the certificates. They may even have the skills, but something is lacking. That thing that is lacking is the attitude. Because the certificate, the knowledge is very good. But if the knowledge is not backed with the right attitude, even if you get the job to, to sustain the job will be a very problem. Amul Hosen is a particular year, a particular period of time where the Prophet Wasallam lost his beloved wife Khadija. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he described Sidratul Muntaha that a leaf of Sidratul Muntaha is as big as an elephant's air. If you are going to worship in a mosque, make sure you are embarking on a journey from your house, no matter how far it is, you are going to either the first one, Masjid al-Harab in Mecca, which is the Kaaba, or Masjid al-Nabawi in Medina, and the Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. You can choose your friend. You can choose your colleague at work. You can choose 
where you want to live, you can choose your neighbor. But certainly, you cannot choose your family. Those people that are lying on Musa, saying he's the son of God, he's so, so, and so. Isa alayhi salam is going to end up being a shaheed, a witness against them. And Allah is going to judge between them on the day of judgment. Sincerity. This topic is very important to the extent that in virtually all the major references of um, a hadith, you always find that hadith on top. Is the basic of all good deeds. Once you get it wrong, my dear listener, you lose it all. Ayataini fi akhir surah al Baqarah fi laylatin kafatahu. Man qara'a ayataini fi akhir surah al Baqarah kafatahu. That whoever recites the last two verses of surah al Baqarah at night, kafatahu, it is, it is sufficient for him, it will suffice him. It means Allah's protection is going to be on that person throughout that night. Some scholars even went as far as saying that it is as weighty as observing the Qiyamul Layl. Imagine, most of the revelation of the Quran the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was having was through an intermediary. But this, he got it directly from Allah. What for what? <laughs> ولكن نحن لولاك لما شدت حالك